Hi, this next video is all about organising your RefWorks account. So RefWorks, you can organise things into projects and folders. It might be that you only want to use one project. So if you only have a single project, all your references here, if I click on all references, that will always show everything you've ever imported. If you had a couple of big projects, what you could do is add a separate project. So all you do is go up to here and we go to manage projects. And at the moment you can see I've only got one project there. So I could create a new project and I'm going to call that project two and then just press save. Now if I click on project two, we should see that all my references are empty and I'm starting again from a blank page. I'm just going to go back to project one. If you're doing a PhD or um, a dissertation or one single project, you might want to use a folder system instead to um, add to individual chapters or maybe you've got lots of different essays on the go and you could use the folders for that as well rather than starting a new project. So to create folders, it's really easy. If you go to the left here, all you do is add folder. So I'm gonna call this folder one and then press save. So if we look at my folders, I've got nothing in folder one so far. These are folders that I've set up before and I've just dragged and dropped all the relevant references to each folder into those. So you can see I've got lots of folders there. This not in folder, this is anything that's in my all references that I've not tidied up and added to a relevant folder. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go back to all references and just show you how to add a reference to a folder. So if we find folder one right at the bottom there, all we need to do if we want something in there is drag and drop it. And now if I scroll down to the very end, you can see in folder one, I have that reference and I'll just add another one there. So now if I click on folder one, you can see I've got two references in there. You can also create subfolders. So you just go to add subfolder there if you want to create a subfolder. Also to tidy up the account, sometimes you might want to delete things. So I'm in folder one at the moment. If I wanted to delete this reference, if I go to delete, I get two options. So I can remove it from the folder and what that will do, that will mean that it won't be in folder one anymore, but it will still be in all references. If I choose the second option, delete, that's going to delete it from folder one and from all references. So it's going to delete it from the system completely.